heaven by the name I'm a pastor. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mimi kabla mtaenda nitaenda. I'm not ready to take you to heaven. I miss heaven. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Kwa hiyo lazima choice uelewe ya kwamba ni kazi umepewa na Mungu na kazi sio mimi kama as come to kuuliza. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu. Mungu. The source is not the boss of hapa. Si taulizwa wewe ndio utaulizwa. Maana ni wewe ambao Mungu amewaleta kwako. Haleluya. Be faithful. Wewe mwaminifu. Kutoka hizi kondoo, unjua hakuna mtu aliyeita. Wamejileta wameletwa na Mungu. Na kwa nini Mungu awalete? Mungu anajua kwa hapa kuna chakula chao hapa. Haleluya. The Bible says kwamba tuweke kalo kila dhambi na kila uzito wa mbao inatupata kwa haraka sana. First two the Bible says First two the Bible says tukipie hii bill with patience. Yes. Amen. Tusikipie Joyce listen to me. This more afternoon. Kunaweza kuwa pale kuna kanisa uone imeinuka. Kwa kwa pendo pole kanisa imepanuka. Na wewe ligi yako ni kadogo. Forget about them. Consider what God has given. Wale Mungu amekupatia. Hao ndiye utaulizwa na Mungu. Bwana sasa. Na tafadhali tafadhali. Don't usiende kutafuta majauri kwa watu wengine. Kama ungehitaji mashauri niko pale. Na saidi ya mimi kuna Mungu. Amen. Look at Jehovah. He is the one who saw the needs of the people. Amen. Then they are not sure me and my time is about. How watu wanapokuja Jumapili hawakuji kukutana na wewe, hawakuji kukutana na mtu, wanakuja kukutana na Jehovah. Amen. Na kwa hiyo watuwe mama dada yangu. Wewe ndiye Mungu amekuweka katika madhabahu haya. Enda kwa Mungu akupatie, mwambie Mungu Bwana hao watu the whole week mimi siwajui lakini wewe Mungu unajua mahitaji zao give me a message that will give them mm-hmm. Mungu atakupatia ujumbe ambao utakuja na uponye kanisa amen Bwana sasa amen, amen. amen. ukiona watu mimi kuna watu wanaenda kuna mtu sikuizi za sakali sasa kwa bila ni wao wote tulikuwa na pamoja naye Saman si na makatikwa yeye akasema amesikia vitu kwa mchungaji akapotoka akaenda kuwa mchungaji na alipoenda mimi tukakaa sana tukakaa sana bila kuona ana kwa surprise kuja kusikia nasikia za post sawa kama Mungu amejiita kama post huwa mara Bwana sasa. Na baadaye nikuja kusikia. Yakoa hata kwa When you hear people talking man utasikia. Bwana sasa. Amen. Na watu wakiongea sana sana wengi wanaongea kwa mabaya. Mm. Na wao ongea tena mabaya. Mm. Bwana sasa. Listen to this. When you hear those don't fight with them. Amen. Ukisikia kosa chat such yourself. What they are talking is it true or untrue? But you know you cannot you cannot like to say when you tatanya wakati kwa sawa na Mungu unaelewa niko sawa na Mungu. Wakati mmepotoka kwenye njia ya Mungu unajua umepotoka. Hata kama hakuna mtu mwingine anajua wewe unajua. Maana wewe gudaganya. Kwa hiyo watu wanapokea the word pastor wakiongea mambo yako you have the right to check yourself. Hallelujah. Ujichunguze, ujiulize kile wanaongea ni kweli ama si kweli. Ukikuta ni kweli pengine kuna mahali ni na kado kidogo, nikimbia kwa Mungu. Because if you na neema yake haijaisha, enda kwa kumwambia Bwana hapa ni zamehe. Hapa ni oche. Na God because of the favor of God, he will bless you. Lakini ukikuta kwamba ukijisaji wewe mwenyewe uje hapo wanasema hivyo lakini mimi asara asara na mkosani amino set haleluya hata usiwaulize mm. wako sasa tatu mla mstari wa kwanza ndio sema hivi if he then be lazy with 
in Christ. Seek more things we are above. We are Christ sitters on the right hand of God. Set your affliction on the things above, not on the things of the earth. Bwana sasa. Kama tumeinuliwa na Kristo, tumekufa tukafufuka. Tulikuwa waovu Bwana akatuita. Sasa we are in the kingdom of God. Bibi inasema kwamba tuangarieni mambo yaliyo juu. Let's focus our eyes. Let's concentrate on God above. Wapendwa tutafanya kazi hapa ulimwenguni for our daily bread. Tutafanya kazi, tupate mkate, tupate pesa kupeleka watoto shule, tupate pesa kufanya haya na haya. Lakini kadi na mambo haya yote, we focus on the things above. Tusifanye mambo yake, tusifukwe na mambo ya hapa. Tusahau ya kwamba we are on the way to heaven. Hivi karibuni Yesu yarudi. Amen. Na akirudi wapendwa Mungu, chochote tumefanya katika ufahamu huu hicho ndicho kitatufaidi sana. Bwana asante sana. Lakini vitu vingine vya hapa ni vizuri lakini za hapa. Ni vizuri za kusaidia katika maisha haya. Lakini wapendwa tujue na tuelewe kwamba there's another kingdom, there's another life to live after this. Na kwa hiyo wale wazuri na wale wenye hekima wanaangalia ile maisha mengine kuliko maisha haya. Let me give you give you a good example. Wale watu wenye hekima. Wale watu wenye hekima. Najua sisi wenye hekima. Bwana sasa. We came to Nairobi. Si ni kweli? Tuko hapa Kamuru, tuko kule kwingine, lakini tuko maeneo haya ya Nairobi. Tulikuja kufanya kazi. Haleluya. Ngeze hiyo ulikuja kutoa kwa kutoka. Lakini ukiwa na hekima, maisha yako yote na whatever you do, you do not only concentrate on Nairobi. Haleluya. Wanaoajiriwa kazi wanafanya kazi wakijua one day I will retire. Na anakumbuka kula nyumbani, anaanza kujenga nyumba na anakutaalisha kule maana anajua kazi ikiisha, maisha yangu na robi ikiisha, kuna kule takaforudi. So nazi wapendwa, bibi anasema kwa hapa ulimwenguni tuwapitaji. Hatuko hapa kudumu milele. Tuko hapa tujue kwamba hivi karibuni twaenda kwetu. Sasa chini ni kwamba wewe kama uko hapa ulimwenguni umefika. Unajua kuna watu walikuja wali na Nairobi wakafika. Mm. They don't care about the homes. Mm. Si kweli? Mm. Machari na kuwagaji. Shida. Wakienda retire. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mm. Wanaanza kuzumbuka. Si ni kweli? Mm. Nisikia mtu mmoja alikuwa anafanya kazi. Na alipopewa retire, hakuwa ametaacha kwa nyumbani. <laughs> Sasa ameenda ndio serikali imemwambia wewe kuri yako afanye kazi umefanya nini? Rudi nyumbani. Sasa yule nyumbani anachukua nyumbani anaenda wapi? Maana alizaliwa na alizaliwa mambo ya nyumbani. I got nilisikia kwamba alikuwa anatoka asubuhi kama anaenda kazi. Na ameenda lita. Anaenda kwa hiyo ofisi anakaa tu hapo. Sasa hana kazi. Lakini haendi nyumba. Sasa kazi yake ni zile kazi zinazoniwa serikali ya Lasoo. Ikifika 5 anarudi kama mtu ametoka kazi. Na haendi hajafanya kazi. Mwisho wa mwezi hakuna mchara. Bisi because alikosa kujielewa ya kwamba kazi na vitabu inamii. wapendwa. Ulimwengu huanza tukiwa na magari, tuwe na manyumba, tuwe na maisha ya aina gani? Tusisahau ya kwamba tunarudi nyumbani. Let's prepare ourselves. Hii mm-hmm. kwamba tukifika kule maana kule ni lazima. Mm-hmm. Haleluya. Mm-hmm. Kule ni lazima. Tukirudi kule Mungu atuangalie atondee karibu na account of the life you lived. Sasa leo tutasemaje? Bwana sasa. Tufanye vizuri tujue kwamba tuko tunaenda he that the arisen in with Christ seek the things which are above where Christ sits. Hallelujah. Amen. The right hand of God. Tuangalie tofauti na mambo mengine tuzao kwamba hapa tuwapitaji. Amen. Tuangalie na tufikirie sana sana maisha yetu ya uzoni. Mahatuendapo
na kati alipoitwa na Mungu hakukuwa na mtu mwingine aliitwa na Mungu akapewa maagi maelekezo na Mungu we were not there when the pastor was called hatukuwa aliitwa na Mungu kila aliongea na Mungu and that's why naona hata gapi anamuheshimu bwana sasa anamuheshimu kama mchungaji zimesema kama mchungaji wapi anamuheshimu kama mchungaji imagine if he can respect her as a pastor members at the time ministry we have to respect her as a pastor maana kule alito na Mungu ameitwa na Mungu kila aliyokea hatujui Musa alipoitwa hakuwa na mtu mwingine bwana sasa alipoenda akaambia wana wa Israeli Farao that's the law let my people go wakati farao na sija hivyo wanaanza kugagana Musa akos hapo jiadia na he went back to god so kile Mungu amepatia mchungaji every sunday every meeting akituita mkutano tujue ni Mungu amekutana akituambia tufanye hiki tujue ni Mungu as long as si mambo yake as long as anatuambia tufanye mambo inaoligana na biblia tutamweje Yesu Kristo wakati pale mzalabani analia Eloi Eloi it was not easy Eloi Eloi lava sasa mwana bwana bwana wangaja bwana sasa akaomba baba wasamee hawajui wakati huo wamepiga mitere wakati huo wamepiga mikuki lakini hata baba wasamee bless those who keep us wala atakuyukia wewe wabariki amen wala atakuambia kimya wewe talk food of them amen ongea uzuri wao maana kila mtu ni mzuri is mm. only the spirit that he like kia mtu anakuwa mm. lakini originally ya mwanadamu wote ni watu hakuna mtu mbaya na everybody na everybody mm. Mungu akuumba kitu kibaya aliumba watu wote wakiwa wazuri ni vile tu roho ingine imeingia mtu anabadilika anataletea hiyo roho inaweza toka na ikitoka huyo mtu atakuwa leo wiki nyuma amen atakuwa leo wiki nyuma kuna watu siku hizi hata pale utawala alipoonataji kuti amewekewa the throne ili alitaji alipoona utukufu wa Mungu the bible says akawa ni mtu he was a chief ali 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 aibishwa na kile yako alipika look at jesus other than the finisher of faith members of the church usimone pastor 